Do you remember this cassette deck? Here it is. The transformer is really loud. This is the Intel model CD2100 cassette deck from the dump. It is from the early to mid 70s maybe. I had to spray the record play switch because that one wasn't in a good shape. And I had to take out some resistors. It seems like those people in Japan who made this didn't know anything about the DIN jack. And so the record input it has the sensitivity for RCA, uh, for the RCA system, for the usual system, but not for DIN. For DIN, it was not sensitive enough. So I had to take out some resistors so that it could record through its line in. I also had to make an adapter so that I could hook up uh, my microphone to one of the microphone DIN jacks. That was kind of complicated, as it seems there was no standard for um, microphone DIN jacks. So, <laughs> almost every producer had his own system. So, I'm not sure if this adapter is going to work with any other cassette deck with DIN microphone inputs. But anyway, let's take a look at the features this cassette deck has. And that's going to be really quick, because it does not have much features. We have the usual buttons for the mechanism, record, rewind, fast forward, uh, play, stop, eject, and pause. Next along we have two level regulators. That's a weird setup. They are regulating the level during playback and during record. So right now they are on maximum so that you can hear me. And during record you have to set them different. Here it says stereo. That's probably the only uh, great feature this has. Here are three switches. One of them, of course, is the power switch. We have a hiss filter, which is only working during playback. It just cuts off the treble, so it's kind of useless. This cassette deck does not have Dolby, but it has a tape selector for standard and chrome cassettes. And talking about cassettes, this cassette deck really doesn't like all cassettes. When I first tested the cassette deck, I put in a really good Maxell XL2S cassette. Really good cassette from the 90s. And this cassette deck ate the cassette for dinner. So um, right now I'm using a much cheaper standard type cassette. Yeah, that's it about this um, Intel cassette deck. This is the bottom part of the cassette deck. And we have a label right here. And that says Interelectric in Munich, Radio, Television, Phono, Western Germany. Stereo cassette deck, model CD2100, made in Japan for Intel International Europe. It was not even made by Intel, it was made for Intel by somebody else, some Japanese company. Here is the serial number. I just noticed something about the VU meters. Compare them with the VU meters of my Toshiba PT884 reel to reel. Oh yes, they are exactly the same except for that um, bias check thing right there. So maybe this cassette deck was actually made by Toshiba. And this is the inside of the Intel cassette deck. As you can see, this is a typical Japanese cassette deck with a big mess of wires all around the machine. We have the very noisy transformer right here. Here is the power supply circuit board, which contains the rectifier and this pretty small filter capacitor. We have uh, view meters right there and here are the three switches, power switch, tape selector, his filter. 
Your other two slider controls. As you can see, this cassette deck has been prepared for being something, well, something better. So you can see there are additional holes for mounting uh, more slider controls. And down here are also some more holes. I think these two holes may have been for usual microphone jacks, not the thin jacks, which are right there. This may have been a hole for a headphone jack. Now, here on the microphone jacks, I had to remove uh, two resistors because before, with those resistors, the input signal from the DIN jack on the back of the machine, right there, was not strong enough. Here we have the main circuit board. It contains everything, the amplifier. Here you can see the record play switch, or actually the connections of the record play switch. The mechanism is nothing special. It is a pretty high quality construction using some nice thick metal, has a nice big flywheel, but aside of that it really isn't something special. You can see up there is the motor. The original belts are all still good, which is really nice. And that's basically it. That's the inside of the Intel cassette deck.